Hi friends, we are going to continue the DNA block elements. Uh, the next one is about the stability of compounds. Okay. Uh, normally, all the higher oxidation states will form a stable fluoride compounds and oxide compounds. So we are going to study about the, those compounds. Okay. Here, in this table, we can see the D block element that is a transition elements with the higher oxidation state that is titanium with plus 4 oxidation state, vanadium in plus 5 oxidation state, chromium in plus 6 oxidation state. All these elements show fluoride compounds. Okay. <coughs> Why this is showing a fluoride compound at higher oxidation state? Because fluorides and oxides are being a highly electronegative element and those elements are having a, being very smaller in size and because of this smaller size it can form a stable compound with the smaller uh, cation. Because of this reason it uh, forms a stable compound with the uh, transition metal having a higher oxidation state. Okay. And uh, this fluoride is formed the higher oxygen state because of two reasons. One is due to its higher lattice energy and other reason is due to its higher bond enthalpy. What is lattice energy? Lattice energy is nothing but it is uh, the measure of um, energy released when uh, ions are combined to form a compound. Okay. And what is this bond enthalpy? It is a measure of bond strength in a chemical bond. Okay. So, this because of these two reasons, fluorides will form a stable compound. Okay. And uh, here when we talk about manganese, manganese is having a, a higher oxy state as plus 7 oxidation state. See here what happens, manganese at plus 7 oxida oxidation state will not form fluoride compound. Instead of this, it will it will show an uh, oxofluoride compound that is MnO3 F compounds that is oxofluoride compounds or known. Okay. Um, here magnus will not show fluoride compound uh, and it will show oxide at plus 7 oxidation state that is MN2O7 oxides at plus 2 plus 7 oxidation state but magnus will not show fluorides at plus 2 oxidation state this is because okay because oxygen will have a greater ability to for to show a stable compounds with a higher oxidation state than fluoride okay why it is having a greater ability to form a, a stable compounds because of the because of the formation of multiple bond because of the formation of multiple bond that is the oxygen will form a P pi D pi bond with P pi D pi bond with a metal which is having a higher oxidation state. That is the oxygens, the 2P orbital will laterally bond with the metals 3D orbital. Okay. So, because of this reason, oxygen will show a greater ability to form a stable compound than fluorides. Okay. Okay, the next one is after this magnus, beyond this magnus, okay, uh, no other compound except for iron and cobalt will form a trihalides. That is, only iron will form trihalide and uh, similarly cobalt will form trihalides. I, other than these two, nickel, copper and zinc will not form trihalide. This is because that iron will show a uh, uh, plus 2 and plus 3 oxidation state as a stable state. Similarly, for cobalt also, but for nickel, copper and zinc, the stable oxidation state will be plus 2 oxidation state. Okay. And because of this reason, iron and cobalt will show trihalides. But uh, nickel, copper and zinc will not show trihalides. The next point we have to note is about this vanadium fluoride compound. See, vanadium fluoride compounds, uh, all these will form vanadium fluoride. Except for this vanadium in plus 5 state, all the other flu vanadium fluoride will 
oxidize when in halides will oxidize or hydrolyze hydrolysis sorry hydrolyze to form vanadium oxohalide vanadium oxohalide but this vanadium pentafluoride okay this vanadium pentafluoride will not hydrolyze uh, hydrolyze as oxohalide but it will hydrolyze into its oxides its respective oxide okay and because of this Mm, formation of oxide it will not form oxohalide okay this is the next point okay the next point is about this copper copper will not uh, show a stable iodine complex when it is being in plus 2 state iodine compounds when it is being in a plus 2 state that is copper 2 plus will not have iodine compounds this is because copper plus 2 will oxidize iodide to iodine this copper plus 2 will oxidize iodide to iodine why because it is having a positive e naught value since it is having positive e naught value what happens it will be easily reduce and act as a good oxidizing agent and therefore it will oxidize iodide as iodine and the next point is when we talk about this copper plus 2 state and copper plus 1 state which will be more stable copper plus 2 state will be more stable than copper plus 1 state why why because it is having a higher hydration enthalpy okay higher hydration enthalpy and also copper in plus one state will easily disproportionate into disproportionate into copper plus two and copper that is it will easily form as copper plus two and copper in aqueous medium in aqueous medium what is disproportionation reaction that is a reaction which is having three different oxidation state okay here we, we will we are having plus one state plus two and zero oxidation state so here copper plus one at aqueous medium will it will get disproportionated and because of this disproportionation reaction it will not be as a stable uh, form okay and uh, these are the points regarding the trends in halides okay so first we were talking about this uh, uh, why all these higher oxidation state forms a uh, fluoride compound why because uh, fluorides will have uh, fluorides and oxides are smaller in size and therefore it has a capability to uh, form a stable compound with a st st smaller uh, metals yes and because of this reason fluorides and oxides will form a stable compound with the higher oxidation state okay fluorides cannot form a stable compound with the lower oxidation state this is because since uh, the same reason this, that is a fluoride is a smaller anion uh, and uh, uh, metal with the higher uh, lower oxidation state will be a bigger cation so what happens it will donate electron it cannot accommodate electron because of the electron electron repulsion this compound will not be stable this compound will not be stable okay so so these are all about the trends in the uh, halides okay the next one is about the trends of oxidation state in oxides so this is the first point we have already known that uh, magnus will form a plus 7 oxidation state and all the other uh, compounds will form uh, oxides in a higher oxidation state that is because of its ability to form a multiple bond okay the next one is beyond this fluorine uh, sorry uh, iron beyond this iron no other uh, compounds will form oxides at higher oxidation state okay so this is because because uh, they will not be stable in the higher oxidation state okay and uh, here this iron no iron will have a ferrate compound ferrate what is this ferrate f e o 4 2 minus complex is a ferrate ferrate compound this will have iron in plus 6 oxidation state as soon as this ferrate compound is formed what happens it will get decomposed into iron oxide f e 2 o 3 
and oxygen so because of this what happens because of this uh, it will not be stable it will not be as a stable compound okay other than this other than this okay uh, other than this oxides okay oxo cations will also be more stable that is vanadium cation vanadium oxide cation okay vo2 plus cation okay titanium uh, oxide cation 2 plus cation so all these oxide cations will also be stable now the next one we want to know is about this mixed oxide these oxides are called as mixed oxide having an average uh, oxidation state as 8 by 3 see calculate this oxygen state of magnus here it is having 8 by 3 the oxidation state of iron here is 8 by 3 oxygen state of cobalt here is 8 by 3 okay these are called as a mixed oxides what is this mixed oxides this oxide that is mn for example if i'm going to take a magnus mn3o4 magnus oxide okay this is an oxide of two different kind of oxide which is mno and mn 2o3 mn2 O3 that is it is in plus 2 oxidation state and this one is will be in plus 3 or it is a combination of plus 2 and plus 3 oxidation states that will form a mixed oxi oxides okay mixed oxides uh, similarly for Fe it is Fe it is a mixed oxides of FeO and Fe2O3 Similarly, for cobalt, it is a mixed oxide of CO2 and uh, COO and uh, sorry, COO and CO2, O3. Okay, so these are called as mixed oxide. These oxides are also stable oxides. Okay. And here this Mn3O4 will be more stable because of the pi bond. See here this will be tetrahedrally bonded with the oxygen to form a stable compound. And it is also linked with the double bond and hence it will be a stable compound. Okay. So, thank you. Thank you by Navina Kartik.